been a hot minute. Haven't posted up in quite a while. Quick update. Um, sold the Prelude. It was too much for me to fix in terms of my mechanical knowledge. Sold it to my cousin. He took it to a mechanic. He got it fixed. Sold it to him for the same price I purchased it, but with all the amenities of what I purchased. But it's all right. It was a loss for me, but I gained uh, knowledge into what I should not invest in. Anyway, that's gone. Um, still got the Del Sol and the CRX. Um, I sold my SI. Uh, it was too small. I have a, a, a daughter now. She's a couple. She's like, well, she's ten months old. I didn't want to say, but I know I did. Anyway, uh, she's ten months old. SI was too small, and uh, because of the virus, in like five months, I wouldn't have been able to afford it, and uh, I haven't been working for a while. So I sold my SI, I had pretty good positive equity on it, and I purchased this. It's a uh, RD1 CRV, so RD1 is just the chassis coat. Um, I got it for a pretty good deal, so let me start off about it. Um, it looks pretty mint, as what the buyer told me. came with the roof rack uh, the owner tinted it has that part in the back and because it's an EX it has a key to uh, to unlock it a key fob uh, the interior is flawless uh, please don't mind this I removed the cluster because I'm going to upgrade it uh, this is the cluster right here I have a ton of LEDs from like my previous cars, my Delso, the CRX, Prelude, the SI. I have just a bunch of LEDs. And I purchased these though. And I'm going to just put them in the back. Um, I'm also going to use some acrylic paint that's orange, like that orange. And I'm going to paint that, this, and those two as well to match with it. It's going to look nice. Um, this is the interior. It is magnificently clean. It's flawless. Carpets have no rips, no tears, no nasty dirt. Might be a little dirty on this side because of me driving. The seats are absolutely gorgeous. No rips, no tears. The headliner was a little dirty. I tried my best to clean it. There are still some dirty spots. But it was pretty difficult to clean because uh, I was using the cleaner and what happened was a little bit got in my eye, like the little particles. And my eye was my eyes were actually burning all day. <clears throat> but I tried my best. I'll probably clean these up again. And I added my spoon shift knob and my hybrid racing, whatever the hell this is called, on there. Just to make it look a little nicer. Um, the car came with a deck. This is like, I don't know, $300, $400 deck, but it came with the car. It has this too to connect my phone to charge it. Um, it has a little storage compartment under here, which is quite nice. Door cards are perfectly fine. All the tires are good. Um, this doesn't fit properly. It doesn't have floor mats. This is for my dad's Tahoe that he had until uh, he got in an accident. Hidden, a person did a hit and run on him. So he just gave me this uh, mat for my fiance and my daughter. I'm going to cut it maybe later. Um, what's pretty badass is that uh, the CRV came with this rear cargo mat. And this is actually quite rare and pretty uncommon to see nowadays. Um, I also installed a. Uh, an LED light there, two LED lights on the map lights, and one on the cargo. Um, they're the Sylvania Super Bright LEDs. I would highly recommend an investment in those LEDs. Um, they have a lifetime warranty. These are the 6K ones, and they're just absolutely stunning in um, an illumination in the vehicle. Um, also, I have it on my... LED license plate light in the back. I mean the license plate light in the back. It's also the same one. Um, I even installed those in my fiance's uh, 2006 CRV, and um, 
she hasn't complimented them, but she doesn't really care about things like that. It's just more me being finicky. Um, let's see what else. Let me show you guys the motor. Now the motor is absolutely stunning. Uh, the guide changed the filter there. I don't know if he did the oil change. I haven't done it yet. I got this car like five days ago. I just I haven't even <laughs> registered it under my name. I haven't had time since I take care of my daughter and I don't have anyone to take care of her. But anyway, um, everything's flawless. Uh, I, re I ordered this cap because it's broken. Probably going to replace the fuel filter. Probably going to replace spark plugs and the wires, even though they look fine. But just in case, there's no leaks. There's nothing. But one thing that does scare me, because this is an RT four-wheel drive, is that uh, the the back actually the the rear differential. I looked at it yesterday with my brother-in-law, and I seen there's no leaks, but it still has its OEM mark for when it was torqued from Honda in Japan. So that kind of worried me because this car has 206,000 miles and to rebuild a rear differential, <laughs> it's not cheap because I have no clue how to do it. And you know, shops like to charge up that. So yeah, that's the quick update. Um, I'm going to post up a video of me installing the LEDs on the cluster. Also painting uh, the little plastic pieces in the cluster for the miles per hour, etc. I don't recall the name of that, but that's what I'm going to post up as well. Um, let me know what you guys think of the, the CRV. I mean, I'm going to keep it for a while. It's just times are tough because of uh, how the economy is doing. And I work in education, special ed, as an assistant. And um, I don't have a job right now because of that. Um, so it kind of sucks. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Ask any questions you guys have. You guys have. I'll answer as best as I could. I mean, I don't know too much about the RD1 CRV. I haven't done extensive research like the Dell, so that's, I was like OCD about it. So yeah, let me know you guys. Uh, have a good one. Peace. Bye.